Hey, hey guys, Simmers and Joey side, and I got a video for you guys today, and it's a track guide for New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Now, I don't really care for this track very much, so it's probably not going to be a very great lap for me, and I'm pretty sure the 30.232 that I got will probably improve tonight up until the NIS race Thursday for the fixed series. So, that's what this is for, for the fixed setup, so we'll just go ahead and get going here so i'll just shut up for this one lap of a 30.2 which should get down about two to three tenths quicker by the end of the week so here we go All right, there was a lamp, and you can see their back end really wants to step out, coming out of the corners. So we'll go ahead and just uh, get to this. Find me a good camera view here. Or not. Stay from the in-car. We're going to make a way to turn one here. So I'm going to slow-mo it, so... I start braking. You see this three marker here? Pretty much when your car's right underneath it. So right here, I'm braking. Quite a bit of brake. And I'm holding that brake all the way to probably pass that green cone. Holding the brake. Still holding the brake. And I'm letting up right here and starting to let it roll. Now last year, I was making the arc down to the second seam here. You know, see? The, there's the first groove and there's the second groove, the third and fourth. And I got advice last year to run the third, but I could not run it. But that's what I'm doing in this one. So once you're let off the brake, let it roll while you're up here on the third groove, which would be one of the higher banked sections of this progressively banked surface. So you can see I'm still up on that third groove until about, I don't know, center of the corner. And I start driving down while picking the throttle up pretty much right at the center. So I'll just let it roll, so I'm not right here. Let's see what that looks like on the outer edge. Let's actually pick a better camera point of view here. If I can find one, that'll work. They're all too freaking zoomed in. So yeah, pretty much right in the center. Or if you want to use my typical markings, I'm picking the throttle right at the Linux, the Linux sign there. The Linux, I don't know how you say it. So right here. Or where the Sylvania logos will start on the right that's where I'm picking up the throttle and start driving back down so I go from third groove to second right to the second line you don't want to go under that because it gets flat and loose and coming off the corners you want to be careful as it'll want to step out now approaching turn three I'm braking very similar to turn one you can see right here this little doohickey or whatever that is the three marker. So I'm braking again right there. Again, driving it to the third groove while on the brake well into the corner. And I start picking the throttle up again about mid corner. So around this caution light here. This one. I should pick the throttle up as you can see. I'm fully on it. Now I drive back down to exit the corner. And again, be careful coming off the exit there as it gets a little loose. So that's pretty much all there is to this track. I mean, that's all I can think of. I'm not very good here, so I just looked into a couple good finishes. Hopefully I can do that again, but... You know, next week we go to Indianapolis for a full-length race. I will have a guide for that, as that's one of my favorite tracks. And actually, the next four tracks are going to be the ones I like. So anyways, this has been Sim Racing Juicy Side. <laughs>